did you personally interview the secretary on Saturday morning? I didn't personally, no. And how many agents did? I think we had five or six. In the did you talk to all of those agents after the interview? I did not speak to all of them, no. Can, uh, I'm, was she, did she testify or talk to them under oath? No. She did not. Well, that's a problem. But, no, uh, it's still a crime to lie to us. I know it is. Mm. Do, we, do you have a transcript of that? Uh, that uh, no, we don't record our... Nope, they don't have a transcript. Nope, she didn't uh, speak to them under oath. Nope, he wasn't there. I guess maybe he had a golf uh, appointment with, uh, who knows, Loretta Lynch. Uh, you know, they're talking about golf and grand grandkids. Uh, John Yu, former Deputy Assistant Attorney General of the United States and uh, also law professor at UC Berkeley and author of Point of Attack, joins us. Hello, sir. Hey, Steve. How are you? I'm great. It's always great to talk to you. Love your uh, expertise. So let me ask you, first of all, strange that the FBI director wouldn't have been there, strange that she wasn't put under oath, strange that they kept no uh, record or transcript of the interview? I don't think it's strange that Comey himself didn't conduct the interview. In fact, I would prefer that more expert people who are familiar with the case clearly do it. But I think it's very strange that she wasn't under oath and really, really strange that there was no transcript of the interview because people higher up than those agents have to make the decision whether to prosecute Hillary and her aides. And if they're not present in the interview, how do they know what she said if there's no written record of it? Yeah, it, it struck me as, as, as very, very bizarre. Let me, let me give you some other things, John, to, 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 you know, before we get to the generalization of this case. I want to be specific. Um, he said today that uh, you know, it, it, this didn't meet the standard of prosecution. He stuck to his guns when questioned by several real brilliant Congress people. Uh, he said There's not, there, there is not evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that she was using classified information or intended to retain it on her server. Is it his duty to bring charges? Does he have to show his, the prosecutors and his people, do they have to show the Justice Department that this is beyond a reasonable doubt? Or isn't that left up to the jury to decide if it's beyond a reasonable doubt? Well, that's a really great question because I think what you've put your finger on is that Comey overstepped the bounds of his role. The FBI is there to investigate the facts and they report the facts to the Justice Department. It's the job of the prosecutors at the Justice Department to decide whether to bring the case, not the FBI. If the FBI doesn't think there are any facts there, of course, that's a different thing. But the facts as we have them are that Hillary Clinton and her aides intentionally set up a system to avoid the normal government system for handling classified information. And uh, the facts are such that they did it. It's really just a question of her intentions. That's really up for the prosecutors. You know the. The FBI agents aren't there to make a call on what any reasonable prosecutor would do or not do. That's up to the actual prosecutors to decide. Uh, so I think he overstepped his his grounds here uh, in order to avoid bringing any charges against Hillary. Interesting. Let me ask you about this one. Uh, it was talked about today that Hillary's lawyers were the ones that, that scrubbed or, or, or decided which emails to delete. Forget the fact that she told all of us that, and, and Congress, that she uh, that they did they they went through each email after they used a keyword search they went through each email uh, she told the FBI or the FBI told us they did not go through each email so I don't know if that's perjury or not but the lawyers the lawyers went through these emails a, a handful of which wound up being classified and they asked the FBI director today did any of these lawyers have security clearance and he said no isn't that some kind of crime Yes, that is. That's actually on the part of uh, Hillary and her aides to provide classified information to people who don't have a clearance is a violation of federal law. The other thing that's awfully, awfully suspicious and really unprecedented was that after these lawyers went through the emails, they destroyed and permanently deleted all the ones they didn't feel were relevant. And of course, as we're seeing now, they, they destroyed a lot. They did not turn over a lot of emails that were uh, relevant that did involve government business. Imagine if you were a corporation and you got sued and you had to turn over, say, papers about an accident. GM couldn't then destroy every other piece of paper they didn't turn over. They still have to keep it because you may want to relook at everything again. 
it's completely unprecedented what they did. An and I think yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Investigation of it. Another another issue. Uh, he said that uh, you know he was asked back and forth, back and forth. Did Hillary? She told us and she told everybody she did this. She didn't send or receive any classified information. True or false? False. Did she do it? False. False. So we, he, he, he came up with a whole bunch of you know, lies that Hillary uh, came up with. And then he was asked, uh, did Hillary uh, Clinton lie? He said, we have no basis to conclude she lied to the FBI. When asked if, if Clinton lied to the American people, he said, uh, that's a question I'm not qualified to answer. Would he have been justified in, in saying, yes, she did? What would have been interesting would have been to ask the FBI director if she if he could point to any statement she made about this FBI this electronic system email system that was true, because it looks like every <laughs> single thing she said about the system turned out to be false. And so whether she lied or not, again, that's a decision that prosecutors should be making, not just Comey, and it's not just. Did she lie to the American people? Was she lying to Congress? Was she lying to the FBI itself? Were her aides lying? We have the contradictions. Now it's a question of what's her intention. And that's really not just for the FBI to decide, that's for Justice Department prosecutors. It really wasn't for Comey to decide not to send the case over or to have people of justice look at it. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's really bizarre. And finally, he um, today was asked about the Clinton Foundation uh, and is there uh, an investigation ongoing into the Clinton Foundation, and he refused to answer. Uh, by refusing to answer when he was free to answer that, hey, there's, there's no, nobody's being charged with anything, there was no crime here, uh, wouldn't he, if, it, wouldn't one believe if the Clinton Foundation was not under any kind of investigation whatsoever, he could feel free to say that instead of saying I, I won't comment on that? It's true, he could have. I mean, I, I, I have to believe that the FBI and other authorities are looking closely at what the Clinton Foundation has been up to all these years, especially given the timing of donations while Hillary is Secretary of State and making decisions about those very same donors and countries. Yep, yep. You, you would think so, John. You would think so. John, great to talk to you. Uh, appreciate uh, your input as always, sir. It's a real pleasure, Steve. Anytime. My pleasure is mine. John, you, ladies and